So you're thinking about living in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and maybe you're looking for a town that is sandwiched right between two beautiful mountain ranges. Well, in this video, I'm gonna take you on a map tour of a town just like that, the small town of Elkton, Virginia. And if you hang around throughout this video, I'm going to share with you some census information, some information about the schools, and some information about the real estate market that is specific to that area. So hang around to the end of the video so you, you can catch all that, but let's go ahead and get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Stefan Gleason and my wife Leslie and I get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to sell a home or to purchase a home here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and we absolutely love to help those folks when they call. So if you're looking to move in nine days, 90 days, whatever the case may be, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. As real estate agents, we love to help everybody when we get those calls. And if you like our videos as well, click on the subscribe button and touch that bell icon so you can keep up to date about all the current real estate market information here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. Now, as I said, today we are going to go ahead and look at a map video or look at the map here and learn a little bit more about the small town of Elkton, Virginia. So with that being said, I want to go ahead and I'm just going to jump on my computer here and I'm going to pull up a map so that you can see as we go along. So as you can see here on the map, this is the town of Elkton, Virginia. Small town population, just under 3,000 people. So we'll go ahead and zoom out just a little bit, kind of give you an idea where it is. And as you can see, here are the two mountain ranges that I mentioned. We have the Blue Ridge Mountains that run along the east side of Elkton. And then we have Mount Massanutten which uh, is on the west side. And then far, even on further over, we have the Appalachian Mountains as well. So gives you an idea where the town sits. Now, if you're looking to travel locally, uh, the town that has the most in it, which is the closest by, uh, is Harrisonburg. And you're going to travel on Highway 33. You're going to travel about 25 minutes to get to downtown Harrisonburg and about 20 minutes to get into this area of Harrisonburg right along Highway 33, which is uh, where a lot of the shopping and commerce takes place. Mentioned Highway 33. Highway 33 goes ahead and it continues on uh, west into West Virginia. And of course, it continues on east as well into uh, Virginia as well. The other main road that intersects uh, at Elkton is the uh, Highway 340, and that runs all the way up to into Front Royal, and it runs all the way down in through Waynesboro and south of there as well. Um, of course, you have Interstate 81 here as well, and for that, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit to give you an idea about where uh, some of the things are in the state as far as how far away it is. That's one of the great things about Virginia. You have access to the beach within about three and a half hours from uh, most places in the Shenandoah Valley, so really nice, and of course, there's a lot of his history in Virginia here as well, uh, where you can get to in an hour or two in a lot of cases. So here we are in Elkton, to make it just a little bit bigger so that we can see it there. And and uh, like I said, you're gonna if you're going to head to Washington, D.C., you're going to travel up Highway 340 until you get to Front Royal. And then you're going to go ahead and you go on down and you're going to go into I-66. Uh, I and that's going to get you into Washington, D.C. in about two hours and 15 minutes. It's also about two hours and 15 minutes to Reagan National. And you're looking at right about two hours into uh, Dulles International Airport uh, right here uh, in Northern Virginia as well. So if you want to come south and you want to go down toward the beach, like I mentioned, you're going to come across the mountain here on Highway 33 and down Highway 29 to Charlottesville. And after a short jaunt on 250, Highway 250, you're going to travel down Interstate 64 right into Richmond. It's going to take you just under two hours to get to Richmond, about an hour and 50 minutes. And Richmond has an airport as well, Richmond International Airport, and that's about two hours away to the airport. And like I say, if you want to go ahead and get on down to the beach, in about three hours and 30 minutes, you can be all the way down to Virginia Beach and enjoy the weekend and those nice uh, summer in those nice summer days. Um, a little bit more locally here, if you cut if you cut through the country here, you can get down to Stanton in about uh, 40 minutes or so. And uh, of course, you can head on down to I-81 to Roanoke or in uh, north or south either way. So that kind of gives you an idea about the actual location of 
uh, where Elkton sits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the normal map back on here and I'm going to zoom back in on Elkton and give you a little bit of a tour of Elkton itself. Uh, like I said earlier, you can see that it lies right along Highway 340. Uh, at that intersection and the intersection of I-33. And there's some of the newer part of the town, I guess you'd say, like some convenience stores and a few, uh, got like uh, some you know, fast food type restaurants, kind of right around in, in this area here. But if you actually go to the uh, east side of town, or excuse me, the west side of town, you're gonna find that there are, uh, there's a nice little shopping center here with a food lion and uh, some other stores as well. And that, that you just have to drive all the way into Harrisonburg to get groceries. That's really nice to have that there. So zooming back out here, going back into the downtown area, you're gonna find the actual downtown area is uh, right near where the railroad used to run through and still does. The railroad tracks run right through town here. And actually the main street here is Spotswood Avenue. You're gonna find a lot of different small shops along Spotswood Avenue. Well, I'll show you a couple here in a second, but one of the things uh, here in the downtown area, as well as some of the shops and some of the restaurants there is the Elkton Brewing Company. And Elkton Brewing Company is a local uh, brewery there, which has its own brand of craft beers and just a real nice place to chill. And that's one of the great things about the Shenandoah Valley. A lot of breweries, a lot of wineries, just a lot of good places to enjoy there in town. So let's go ahead and go into that downtown area that I mentioned here. And right here on the corner of Spotswood Avenue, uh, you're going to find the Elkton Creamery and Tea Room. Really nice place if you're looking to get uh, a nice ice cream cone there, uh, there at, uh, at that particular location. Go ahead and zoom on in here a little bit more. Uh, you see the hen house shop was just, uh, just a, a, a clothing store and uh, just really nice place for a real small town. One of the neat places is McGuire's Country Store though. And uh, Leslie and I had the opportunity to go there during Elkton autumn days and we really enjoyed it. It's, a, it's like say it's an old country store. You really get that feel. And at the same time, they have not only antiques there, but they also have a lot of crafty and home good items as well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go on up here. A relative newcomer to town just opened a, a little while ago is Hands of Home Artesian Gifts and Bakery. And like we were, we, Leslie and I went there on Elkton Autumn Days as well. And like the title says, there's a bakery there where you can get nice food and coffee. And, and then there's also just some really nice uh, things that they sell there. And like I say, it, it's just really, really nice to have a small town. And so many of our small towns here in the Shenandoah Valley, we're very blessed to have um, shops in, in these, in these neighborhoods that are, or excuse me, in these towns that are just, uh, you don't see that in every place in the country. I know, um, coming from Illinois, a lot of the towns were dying in Illinois, small towns like this, but the Shenandoah Valley here, we're very blessed to have those types of things here. Of course, there's some restaurants as well and, uh, nothing fancy here, but Elkton Goodfellas, uh, is a pizza and pasta type place and uh, just a lot of the locals are in there all the time really great place to eat and uh, zooming back out here just a little bit we're going to go over to the other side of town here another restaurant that i'll call up here is memo's wings and again nothing fancy here at all but like i said just some really really good food in there and again it's another local hangout so at the beginning of the video i told you that i would share with you some specific information about elkton and um, one of the things about elkton that makes it a great place to live is its cost of living it is a very low cost of living you can see here i pulled up sacramento california to compare it to and you say well of course it's cheaper than sacramento why'd you pull up sacramento the reason i pull up sacramento is because we actually uh, have received several calls from folks in california who are looking to move to the area and uh, so figure this is a great time to talk about Sacramento and uh, you can see here that the cost of living in Elkton is about 20% lower than it is in Sacramento and the cost of housing is very much uh, less about 35% as well and the other thing that you see here is that the cost of living in Sacramento overall is about 19% higher than the national average and the cost of housing is about 43% higher, whereas in Elkton, the overall cost of living is 6% below the national average and about 8% below the national average for housing as well. So it makes it a very economical place to live. And of course, you're in a very beautiful area as well with all of the mountains and valley views that you have. 
So one of the questions that Leslie and I often get asked is, what is the internet like there in your area? Well, I'd say it's very similar to most areas that are populated. Uh, you can see here on this map that I've pulled up that you're going to find high-speed internet in most of the populated areas. Now, if you get up into the mountain areas here, like you've shown in the red on the map, uh, obviously you're going to have uh, lesser uh, connectivity there, but you can certainly find places. I've been to showing houses where they have satellite connections in some of those very <laughs> remote mountainous areas, and it really does a good job. Xfinity is the Comcast uh, brand out here and is one of the most popular cable uh, methods of receiving cable here in the area. So one of the things that I always like to talk about in the video is what are the schools like in that area? And uh, School Digger is one of those websites that I use. Niche.com is another one. And there's actually another Virginia government website that I'm going to show you here in just a second as well. But I encourage you, if you're not familiar with the area, uh, that that you're going to be moving into. Uh, look at multiple websites because you can find different things about those schools uh, on different websites. Some might look at them positively and some might look at them negatively. And if you look at School Digger, it looks like, boy, these schools aren't great. And they do have some opportunities, especially in the last year or so, but a lot of schools have a lot of opportunities coming out of COVID. But you can see there's four schools in the Elkton area that your children uh, would attend. Here's niche.com, okay? And you can see Rockingham County Public Schools, of which the Elkton schools are part of that system. They're ranked in the top third of the 31 districts uh, here uh, that were surveyed here in Virginia. Uh, the, the elementary schools and the middle school get pretty much a B minus rating, and they've got some opportunity there. But East Rockingham High School uh, is an A minus, according to niche.com. And they are actually the best school, uh, according to niche.com, best high school in the uh, in the Harrisonburg, excuse me, in Rockingham County. And so kind of give you an idea further about that, though. I want to look here at each one of the schools. You can see Elkton Elementary, and there are different standards uh, that they need to meet. And you can see that uh, uh, the, the lines below uh, the English, math, and science are the three ac areas of academic achievement. And 75% uh, uh, of the students in a school are expected to pass that, uh, to, to achieve the, that academic standard in order for the school to have achieved that academic standard. That's in English and then in math and science, it is 70%. And you can see that before COVID, as I was saying, the schools were doing pretty, this school is doing pretty well, except in science and 2022. Well, I guess that's after COVID, isn't it? It had dropped off. And today, like I say, science is the one area they, they meet one out of six of those standards. Uh, here's River. Bend Elementary School. And again, science is the key here. And one of the other things, and that is student engagement and outcomes, uh, you can see that uh, chronic absenteeism. And I have two children that teach in one of the local schools here, and they talk to me about that all the time. Students are much more apt to be absent now than they were before COVID. Elkton Middle School, this one has some opportunity. You can see the different areas. And uh, as a matter of fact, science, uh, again, they're not meeting the uh, the standard expectations, struggling a little bit in English as well. But like I say, before COVID, everything was above board. Now, the one thing I'll say about these schools, especially the elementary schools, you have a lot more input because they're, they're, um, they're very small schools. I believe it was Elkton Elementary. It's about 280 students in the school. So you really have a lot of input and, and interaction with the teachers there in the school, which is a positive thing if you want to be engaged in your students' uh, educational opportunities. So finally, we go to Rockingham, or uh, excuse me, East Rockingham High School, and you can see here that they are still meeting all of the uh, academic achievement goals, and uh, they struggled again, like I say, with chronic absenteeism, but they do uh, do uh, at least it shows here on this chart that they're doing a great job there in the education of students. So let's go ahead and let's talk about some specific real estate information concerning Elkton. And you can see the map that I got pulled up is not just the town of Elkton, but it's also the entire zip code of Elkton, which is 22877. And in that zip code, there's about 10,400 people. So like I say, a very rural area, pretty sparsely populated overall with about 76 people per square mile. And there's about 40 600 housing units in that area. The town, like I said, of Elkton itself has about 3,000 of those residents. As far as the median home price goes, last year, within the last year, from November 
1st to November 1st, the median home price was $287,000, and that ranged in price from $65,000 to uh, $750,000. Now, does that mean there's not properties there that are more expensive than that? Well, certainly there are. You get some of these homes that are have a lot of land and are, are nice homes, and you could certainly pay more than that. So that's not the top of the range, but like I say, it gives you an idea of what the homes are like in that area as far as what they sell for. Another thing here too is I always like to look at what kind of build dates and are, are associated with this zip code. And, and if you look, you can see that of course a lot was built before the 1940s. Of course, that's a a whole bunch of years in there and uh, but a lot of homes were built in 70s 80s and 90s there in Elkton now there are some newer communities there in Elkton as well as a matter of fact I uh, encourage you to go on and take a look at my vlog video about Elkton and actually go into uh, one or two of those neighborhoods and show you what some of the newer homes, matter of fact, one of the neighborhoods is a brand new neighborhood that is being newly built as we speak. But like I say, it kind of gives you an idea of the real estate market there in the Elkton area. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video about Elkton. I hope it's given you a good idea about some of the things in and around the Elkton area and some of the distances to some of the places in the rest of Virginia as well. You know, Leslie and I, we get phone calls and emails all the time from folks looking to purchase a home uh, in the Elkton area or here in Virginia's mountains and valleys or to sell a home as well. And we absolutely love to help those folks when they call. And whether you're looking to sell your home, helping you prepare your home so that you can get the maximum amount out of it, or if you're looking to purchase a home as well, helping you find a home that fits your needs and you'll enjoy for years and years to come. We'd be honored if you'd have that need to just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us that email, and we will be more than happy to help you like we recently helped another couple move into the Elkton area just about a month ago, and they absolutely love it there. So from here next to my nice fireplace, because it got cold last night here in Virginia. Uh, so from the nice warm fireplace, until next time, we'll see you around town.